This one's going to be on Video Catcher. It's one of those programs that downloads uh, podcasts. It's, it's similar to Miro, but not really. And let me show you here. But this one is actually like built for like KDE. Really quick. It's not nothing fancy. It's mainly you know all text. The interface here. This is your channel list. Basically, all your RSS that you add in here. You know when you go to add channel, uh, it'll be here. Thing is, it doesn't work with uh, the RSS in YouTube, so that's maybe a drawback for some people, right? And uh, the RSS that does work is mainly like it points to um, you know MP4s or AVIs or WMVs or whatever. For example, if you're using Revision 3 uh, RSS, then you can have that working fine. Um, and let me show you an example here. So you can have an option to download it, which I did download one of them here, right? And when you download, you just double click on it and it'll play with your external program player here. That's one thing I don't like either. I don't like it to pop out to another program. Uh, I like it to be inside of this program that I'm using, which it doesn't do that. Uh, another thing is that you don't have to download it uh, if you don't want to. You can actually just stream it and you see it has a stream episode here basically it's not downloading it it's just uh, you know how you watch YouTube it just streams it like that same deal here so you hit stream episode and there it goes to the place depends on your internet connection if you have a shitty one obviously it's not gonna go as quick as mine okay so that's how that works and uh, this is like you know all the episode lists for uh, uh, was at different uh, days that they uploaded. Same thing with mine here. It's just that mine doesn't have the other options because, uh, you know, the RSS itself. Uh, what other options do they have in here? Uh, you can refresh channels if you want. You know, whatever. Refresh all channels, and it'll just update the RSS. As far as the episodes here, uh, pretty much the same thing I showed you already. And in here, you can configure the toolbars. That's for KDE stuff. Configure a uh, video catcher here. Uh, this one will tell it to, you know, refresh it every 30 minutes or however many minutes you want. The default folder it'll go to. And here's a custom, um, I guess, command. You can use either VLC, M player, or whatever other player that you wanted to use it with. Uh, just type the command out here. Not a big deal there. That's basically the program. It's not nothing uh, great, but it is kind of useful if you want something like quick and uh, you know accessible on KDE. It's actually made for KDE, so maybe that's the reason why people like it, right? Anyways, that's the program. Uh, if you want to use something like that, go ahead. That's it for this one.